Hey y'all, everyone out there in YouTube land. Kagi here doing a little vlog, letting y'all know what I'm up to. Uh, first of all, this month I may not be releasing a Rumble Fighter tutorial. Um, I know that doesn't matter to most of you because nobody really cares about them, but I figure I'll help the community anyway. Um, but because the next stage that I'm going to be working on is Vladimir's Castle, I figured that it would be too long to do it in its entirety because it's actually three regular boss stages. And then I figured, oh, it'll be too long to do anyway if I just split it off into one stage and then the next stage and then the next stage. So what I figured I would do first is the first video I'm going to release about Vlad's Castle is going to be a breakdown of every enemy you encounter. Um, I'll, I figured I was going to do it for just the enemies you encounter in Frankie's part and then Succubus's part and then Vlad's part, but if you think about it, you encounter every enemy you're going to encounter everywhere else in the castle in Frankie's part, except for the Banshee who is only in Succubus's section and the Baphomet is only in Vlad's section. So I figure I'll just do all the enemies you're going to encounter anywhere in the castle as its own video and that'll be a nice breakdown for those guys um, and then I'll probably work on just Frankie's portion for the month after that but this one may not come out in time for the end of this month um, just had shit to do next I posted a bulletin a little while ago and I said you know would anybody care if I made a Twitter um, couple people said that they would so I did but I mean I haven't really adver advertised it at all I only put up one video since I put it up and and nobody's really watching that so it doesn't matter but I figured I'd let you guys know if you want to follow me on Twitter I'm gonna put a nice little box little box there in my hand I'm having a lot of fun with annotations lately I gotta say um but yeah so you can follow me on Twitter uh, you know, a lot of people who do lots of vlogs and games have a catchphrase where they're like, oh, subscribe, like, and comment, or like, Robus, like, and favorite this shit, become a Viking today. I don't have something like that, and honestly, I feel kind of weird saying that in every, every video, being like, oh, watch me, make sure you watch me, I'm not. I don't really care. If you want to watch me, you are more than welcome to subscribe, to like and favorite. Actually, I found out recently likes and favorites mean more than you think. Uh, actually, depending on your like and favorite rating for a video, uh, that determines where in search it comes up. If it comes up at the beginning or the end of your search query, but whatever. That's just something I wanted to let the rest of y'all know in case you ever thought about it. Um, next, I've got a collab going with a Japanese friend of mine about some Japanese educational toys called Mojibakeru. I don't know if any of you know about them, but basically they're small animals, um, and they're kind of like transformers, but they transform into the kanji that they represent. So like, the bee turns into hachi, and the crocodile turns into Wani. But, uh, yeah, so I've been working with him. We're going to put out some little tutorials, maybe get these guys out so that more people know about them and how to put them together. Because despite the fact that they're children's toys, they're really freaking hard to put together. At least in the series I have, uh, the bee and the phoenix are really hard to put together. So we got some tutorials coming for that, and it's a nice little collab going. I'll upload half, he'll upload the other half. Um, also, I've been playing a lot of Syndicate on the PS3 lately. This is probably one of the greatest games that none of you have ever played, but if you want a good co-op shooter, I highly recommend this game. If you like futuristic games, not so much in the vein of Halo, where you're, you know, a one-man killing machine, but if you like... I would say it's pretty much if you combined Halo and Deus Ex. Kind of like that deal, but co-op. Um, so yeah, 
I'm trying to get into top 100 ranked syndicates. I think guilds everywhere else. Um, but yeah, I'm at like 300 right now. I'm pretty sure we can make top 100. But, you know, Grimjack and DT being wussies. So, if you guys want to play, I'm almost always down for playing a game of syndicate. Just let me know. Hit me up. I'll send you my... Well, I mean, most of you already know my PSN ID. If you want to send me a message, I'll hit you up with it. Um, also, last week I had Crazy Bacon here and my friend Taka, the one who's going to be doing the Mojibakuru tutorials with me. They'll be dual language too, so that'll be that's gonna be it's really fun just to have two people speaking two different languages. But um, anyway. Uh, we did a test of live stream last week actually and it turned out really good we had like 10 viewers and everything was fine until about the two hour mark two hours into the live stream it just cut off I don't know if that's a limit imposed upon people who have unverified channels but it just cut off and it didn't save so but beyond that we're pretty good and after that we did some tests to figure out how we were gonna work it if we're using something on the computer but live stream was a big success and we're probably going to be doing more of them in the future. Probably the people who are participating are going to switch around. But if you want, follow me on Twitter, or I'll probably post bulletins here when I'm going to do a live stream. I mean, the fact that you know we can be playing games and you guys can be can be participating while we're playing, I think that's just wonderful. So please join us next time. Share in our fun and our retardedness. But yeah, um, so I was talking about collabs before. Uh, I'm hoping to do more collabs with you know other gamers around, some of my friends. Uh, that'd be nice. Uh, I've also been trying to get stuff done on the game design front. Uh, our group just decided to start working on. We were originally going to work on a shoot 'em up because IG Maker works with shoot 'em ups platformers and action RPGs. I figured of those three things that shoot 'em ups would have the least amount of things to learn about and the least amount of things to implement. But nobody was really doing what they were supposed to, so we figured we might as well do something we all want to do. So we're thinking of working on a platformer now. Um, right now we're asking the art people in our group to hopefully design some characters. We might make a whole bunch of different characters or maybe like two or three with different attributes. But as it is right now, we're thinking of, we're probably going to be working on a platformer that's more concerned with vertical distance as opposed to horizontal. Uh, that being said, we with IG Maker, you can export to Flash. So when we start working, we'll probably be exporting parts of the game to Flash for people to play test. And we'll probably be doing this by... If some of you have clicked on the link on my home on my like user page on YouTube, you know that the link to our old website is down and it probably won't be coming back up ever. So we're probably gonna make a new website. But once we start making the games, we're working on them, we can export them in Flash, post them on embed them on the website, and you guys can play them, try them out. Uh, so that's another way for us to, you know, get feedback, listen to ideas, you know talk to other people who might be doing the same thing yeah just wanted to get this out there tell you guys what I'm working on and how things gonna be in the future uh, I'll probably have the first Mojibakuru tutorial up this week uh, I gotta edit it because it's all over the place we were laughing way too hard I'll probably make a blooper reel at the end because it was really fun but uh, yeah this is me signing off I'll see you guys later follow me